Hello everyone and welcome back to MakerFix. I was recently inspired after attending a repair cafe where I witnessed the power of fixing things and reducing waste. From that experience and based on the tools I took with me, I decided to create a list of the top 10 essential tools that I recommend for anyone who loves fixing things or just needs a set of basic tools. Let's jump right into it. Our first essential tool is a good quality screwdriver set. This kit has a wide range of bits, with some very particular ones like a special bit for opening Nintendo consoles. A screwdriver set is incredible versatile and it comes in handy for a wide range of repairs. Mine in particular is an iFixit toolkit. This one isn't cheap, but they're high quality and I want to support the company, as they are strong supporters of the right to repair. Our second recommendation is a utility knife. This model is a Milwaukee Fastback. I bought this for its easy replaceability of the knife. I like to double up on functionality because it has a bits driver in the back with a flat head and a Phillips head. And of course, a bottle opener. A good old fashioned hammer is our third essential tool. It's ideal for tasks like hanging pictures or making minor repairs around the house or just bashing something if your repair didn't go as planned. I carry this lightweight version because it's small and light, but if you're only going to buy one hammer, I would recommend a carpenter's hammer with nail puller claws for extra versatility. Needle nose pliers are fantastic, as they can get you into tight spaces, hold something or even do some fine electronics work. It has numerous use cases and it's a must have for your basic toolkit. Mine has seen better days. It isn't lining up anymore, but it's still going strong. For electrical or small wiring jobs, a wire cutter or a wire stripper is indispensable. I like this kind of model because it has some more features like crimping and cutting. There are different shapes and sizes. I bought mine at least 20 years ago and I still use it today. Next up, we have the trusty adjustable wrench. This tool is perfect for tightening or loosening nuts and bolts of various sizes. An adjustable wrench like this unfortunately doesn't always fit well in tight spaces, so a future upgrade could be a socket set. You can often find this at yard sales. Every DIY enthusiast should have super glue on hand, and preferably also some activator. Once you spray some activator on one piece and glue on the other, they bond instantaneous. I can't even count the amount of repairs I've done with this. The trusty duct tape. Similar to super glue, a must have. It won't always work for a permanent fix, but at least it will keep things together until you can fix it properly. Number 9 on our list is another screwdriver or a bit holder. While my screwdriver set is amazing for the typical electronics repairs that I do, sometimes you just need a little bit more leverage. I bought this one online, but I didn't know it came with this magnetic antenna. And this thing has come in handy so many times. To pick up screws and bolts that drop inside close quarters, and I've even picked up keys that were dropped in the sewer. The screwdriver was really cheap and I would highly recommend it. Except for the bits that come with it. I would suggest to replace them with a better set. And finally, a quality pen. I'm a fan of Picadry Lira Dry pencils. They come in an awesome sheet with a pencil sharpener and this one even came with a light. It might look like a novelty, but if you need to make marks in a dark area, you'll really appreciate it. And a little bonus item, WD-40. I've always loved this flowchart because in most cases, it's just true. I forgot to add it to this list, but with the magic of editing, I was able to add it here. There you have it folks, our top 10 plus one essential tools for DIY repair. Remember, you don't always have to buy brand new tools. Be resourceful, ask friends and family, and explore local options to build your toolkit sustainably. Check the affiliate links in the description if you prefer to order online. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share it with fellow DIY enthusiasts. Thanks for joining us and happy repairing.